right, thanks for joining us again. We want to appreciate your time and thanks for clicking to our channel. If this is your first time of watching our, our videos, we will advise you to uh, or we will appreciate or recommend that you subscribe to our channel on Facebook and on YouTube, share and also distribute to your different networks uh, that you do have. Uh, today, we're gonna focus on a very important topic and we will be looking at fake certificates and fake degrees. As some people call it degree meals. Uh, we're gonna dissect it today and provide you with some uh, great recommendations we will cover some very important topics. For example, uh, we shall be looking into uh, things that are relevant. Um, we will cover the degree mills itself. Uh, we will also focus on uh, looking at uh, what the due diligence behind this before you're going to be making those decisions. Um, we will talk about the caution that's involved in this particular um, situation that you need to know. And of course, we will talk about the countries that uh, uh, concentrate uh, this, some of these fake universities are in. And again, we will go straight to looking at this. These things are already on TV. And we will always, like always, I mean, provide you with our recommendations. So uh, thanks again for uh, joining us. And we are looking towards uh, having a great conversation today. And we encourage you to uh, watch this video to the end. For our loyal subscribers, we want to thank you for being with us as always. Um, there's something we want to point out that before we go into the topic. We've made some great videos out there that we feel that we're gonna help you, inspire you in terms of your online education learning or campus, uh, things you need to know which are of essential to you. And uh, we believe that um, um, these things are So welcome back again. Uh, thank you for for tuning in. Um, well, as you may you may know, well, we're going to just focus on the definition of uh, what degree means. You may know what the definition is already, but I think it should be this way or maybe this way. I'm not sure, but you can just check yourself uh, on the left or right hand side of the screen. Well, it's basically saying a, a degree meal institution or diploma meal. Um, that is an institution or organization that grants large numbers, large numbers of educational degrees um, based on inadequate, based on inadequate uh, or inferior education or assessments of recipients. I mean, it, the definition says it all. That's the reason why we are in the e-learning industry. Um, we've looked into all of this uh, particular major problem going on and it's our responsibility uh, here at online education uh, coaching that we provide you this information so you can make an informed decision so you can make sure that um, the certificate that you have with you uh, is not rejected whether in your own country or in your own company or in what organizations that you are uh, working because uh, the worst thing you can do um, the worst embarrassment you can have is if you've invested your money um, for an online program or campus program whatever that may be and it turns out that um, uh, the online university is fake or it's just existing out there so that's why we are bringing this information to you so number one we're gonna look into uh, a very important thing uh, we will talk about um, do your due diligence that's important uh, in another way do your research we did a video about making sure you do your individual research before you focus on making a decision that's important before you commit to study with the university so you need to take a few minutes take a few hours go on to the computer go to the internet because you'll be investing your money um it's important that uh, you figure out where the country is university is the kind of teaching they're offering um all of these things needs to be done um, you want to find out get to know where the universities are we're living today in a digital world and you don't have to be studying there is just no reason why you should be studying and investing your money in a university which you just find it over the internet and if you have some doubt uh, try to do some research yourself. So that's the reason why we are encouraging our, our subscribers 
or you out there who's watching us who you may have been a victim of this uh, but again we are trying to bring this to you so you uh, uh, make sure that you take precautionary uh, motives in terms of making such a decision now uh, that's up to you because um, again you have to make sure that uh, you are well informed um, nobody's pushing you to make a decision to study but you have to go step by step in a step-by-step -step approach what I mean here is you want to Google it have a discussion with a friend a family member uh, other people who are in different locations in different regions around the world maybe to do a little bit of research for you in that way you have a chance to to make an informed decision so that's why we are kind of um, energizing you uh, uh, making sure we bring this information to you before you commit yourself uh, wherever the institution may be whether in North America or Europe or uh, in, in Africa or in Asia it's important for you to, to draw such a conclusion another thing you should be aware of is caution how do you uh, come about becoming very cautious and studying online online has been associated with a lot of uh, fraud in different aspects but in education you still have a lot of fraudulent institutions out there that you pass by them every day and you never know that uh, they are um, degree mills universities or degree diplomas uh, institutions so all of these are irrelevant to you to uh, spend some time be very cautious you don't have to make that decision I understand there are some of you who want to study but you want to do it in your own way let no one know that you are following a degree program but again we would advise you if you're very skeptical about it send us uh, an email um, go to our Facebook page or um, comment on our YouTube videos and also let us know uh, we are able to conduct such a research for you and give you recommendations and what to do and how to follow to make that uh, a very important decision of yours so that is about caution another thing you need to know again to um, uh, to, to to avoid this uh, fake uh, degrees uh, diploma this is what we're talking about uh, to avoid you falling into that trap which a lot of people out there are in to eat so, so what we are saying here is that you don't want to fall prey and invest your money into something which you would have spent a few days and conduct an individual research, um, also maybe uh, send an uh, email to one or two consultants in firms or uh, free agencies to find out from you if this is an uh, accredited university and it's not a fake institution. Because the worst thing you want to do, uh, the worst thing you really want to do is to um, invest your money and later on, um, I mean, it's going to be very difficult for you to accept that, right? Uh, why I say this because at that point where you have a fake certificate with you, um, you can defend it. Um, the institution is not recognized. Uh, we all know that uh, we have CEOs, managers, directors who have been reprimanded or uh, sacked or dismissed, um, arrested for posing with fake uh, certification so this is important so we're bringing that to you our viewers and our lawyers subscribers of course uh, to make an informed decision and be very cautious and that is it about cautions another thing uh, when after caution is you should be able to um, uh, be aware that even in the countries that you live in I don't know where you live in at the moment you're watching us you should be very careful that there are fake universities in the United Kingdom there are lots of fake institutions I assure you that there are lots of fake universities, fake colleges, um, degree mills, colleges, call it whatever you want to call it. So we just uh, we're just saying here that uh, you should be very careful. In the United States of America, you have a lot of fake universities out there, and in all different states in the U.S., there are fake schools. So you don't want to fall trap into that. And also in Europe. You have all of these challenges that we're talking about in Asia, wherever you're going. Um, of course, in Africa as, as well. When we talk about fake year, it's like we explained in our introduction. These are institutions that come up and uh, form some kind of, it could be as a result of accreditation, it could be as a result of uh, the poor teaching method, it could be the university is not registered, um, it could be a scam, uh, whatever it is, it's up to you to be able to, to figure that out. That's why we are having this conversation and this video. So we are encouraging you, we are pointing to you out that you're going to be very careful that online learning uh, in the online space, you have a lot of reputable universities, but again, 
we do have fake ones who are out there to propagate um, dishonesty and to get you confused. So we are pointing out we are in the space and we do understand that this issue is something that our viewers need to know. Um, again, um, when we talk about uh, countries, it doesn't mean because um, the university is in the United States, that means it's not, uh, you can't, we don't have to check it, or it's in Europe, or in, in, in UK, for example, which is still in Europe, of course, in Asia, you just need to do some work yourself, spend some time, find out. A country doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where the university is located. So it's important for you to try to figure this out. Otherwise, you're going to regret uh, making such an investment. Another thing we want to talk about here is we are warning you. Of course, this video is about like we're giving you some kind of warning, providing you some kind of advice on how to navigate this uh, before you make that commitment. Um, also, we're going to look at um, uh, in, in the news channel. All of these things are in the news, of course. You may not have had the opportunity to watch any of the news at the time when this is going. Uh, you, it's very common in CBS, uh, CBC, um, in all the different channels, in BBC, of course, in all of these institutions um, of uh, agents, news agencies carry these, these things about uh, fake universities. Uh, I don't want to go into what the government of those countries are doing. That is a topic of another day. We're going to come to that, of course. But today, we're just trying to point out to you to be very careful. Um, watch out before you make that uh, particular commitment and um, be, be very careful around how you, you go around the internet to make your commitment uh, to transfer your money to a university. Also, there is something we want to point out. Uh, we are going to be doing a video about how to identify these fake universities. We will have an episode about that. Now, we had a video also that talked about the processes that you need to follow. We encourage you to watch one of our videos. Um, the processes you need to follow to be able to make a commitment to study in a university in a different country. Now, some of you may be, may be um, overtaken or may be deceived as a result of the website of the university website doesn't matter it got nothing to do with um, today you can create a website of, for $200 uh, $500 uh, $250 you may sit here and uh, create a website from an Indian company or uh, from China wherever that may be a standard website um, which is very competitive in the market but that doesn't mean that it, it, it is what you're looking for. Let website not deceive you because some of those universities, they have the best websites that you could imagine. So there is just no need for you to be carried away as a result of uh, looking at a beautiful website. So we are pointing out to you, we've laid down, this is our recommendation. Now, we advise you to make sure that you, each time you come across university or you try to follow a, a program of learning, sit back and try to review some very important things. We're going to make a video about the tricks and techniques to identify fake universities. We're going to do that so you'll be aware. Um, another thing we want to point out here is for you to have this doubt, it's better for you to go to um, an agency or consulting uh, organization, reach out to family, reach out to friends um, so they can tell you if this institution is recognized or it's accredited or it's a bogus university uh, somewhere in the US. So what we're saying here is go behind the scene, do some work for yourself. Now finally, uh, we just want to make sure that uh, you are aware that fake university does not necessarily mean they are only in emerging countries or in developing economies. No. Like I've said in the discussion, there are in Western countries a lot of these fake institutions. You may not believe it, but they are out there. So we are encouraging you not to make any investments or not to stick any university programs online if you haven't done the research, proper research. Today you can do research wherever you go, you have your internet with you and you can figure out what is true and what is not true. Well. I believe that this information will awaken your reasoning and to um, inspire you. If you feel inspired or if what we've talked about, you have a different view or you think otherwise, we'll appreciate to hear from you. You always watching us. 
and to also uh, provide us your feedback. We may have to exchange ideas, but again, we're going to be coming up with an episode that talked about the ways to identify those fake schools. So we will give you some points that will help you to uh, kind of um, um, uh, figure out which of those universities are not good for your investment. We would encourage you to go to our uh, different videos. We did a video about the brain drain in developing and advanced nations. Uh, we talked about um, time management skills on how to manage your time while you study online. It could be if you're working professionals, how you can manage your own time alongside your family. And we've provided some very good techniques there for you to look into. Uh, go to our uh, YouTube page, or you can watch our videos on, on YouTube, on Facebook, you can click onto it. It's up to you. We are open for your questions. Uh, we open to providing you with guidance and advice as you make that informed journey. So thanks again for watching. We are looking forward to meeting you again to our next video and we want to wish you all the best and thanks for your time again today. Bye-bye.